so much about script reading or, um, you know, is how are you visualizing that script? And everybody reads it differently. And that, that's one thing that's, that does become difficult in, in that script process. Um, even people that read scripts for a living, right, and, and compared to like maybe how actors might read the script, it, it can be completely different in their heads. Uh, one thing that when you bring visuals to it, bring something that starts to become a little bit more concrete in front of everybody, so it's more like, oh, this is something that validates your story and something, and that's how usually it's being used. It's a validation process. It brings people together so that we're, is it like, is this, closer to what we're all seeing, it's a, it becomes a consistent language versus just, okay, everybody has their own story that's playing in their heads. So it, it starts doing that, it starts bringing the room together, the, the room that's going to be dis making decisions. And, and so if you have art there, that's going to be helpful for that. I think it, as, as far as like character development, a lot of things can be done um, when you're just seeing visuals. Sometimes I, I love just to like, okay, let, let's paint out a whole scene of character to get to know them, how, how they react to certain situations. And they do this more in animation as well, where you start to get to know the characters even without words, without you know, knowing what they're saying, without kind of written dialogue and, and written story, just to kind of get to see how they are with other, in, in certain situations. Um, and seeing it, I think, it gives us something different, how we read it. I find that it works best when you have a relationship with a writer that you can work really closely together with. And most of the time, the best way I love to work is to, um, just have everything on a wall, right? And so like the story, the visuals, you know, you start just by talking through these, the story ideas, the characters, you put it all on the wall, and then you start to kind of replace certain words with just images and visuals. And you see, you kind of, take a look at to see which one actually works better, which one actually sold it better, which tells the story better. Um, and you start playing with that back and forth. And, and so they're all moving pieces. And let's say you have certain descriptions, certain um, written dialogue up there as well. So it's like, it's a mishmash of, of different things, but it, it keeps it as one thing and it grows together. Um, and sometimes you'll notice it's like, oh, you have a, a certain dialogue that maybe was written you were thinking about for the script, you are thinking about that you wanted to put in, but um, you start putting images up. I think that can also change like how you want to, if you want to actually put the dialogue or not. If the visuals and what's written in the script are saying the exact same thing, it can just become, you're hitting the audience over the head with it, right? So um, what actually says it better? Uh, and so a lot of it is just finding that. And the same thing goes with, with character finding. It's just what they look like, how they act. Is that enough to tell you know, the audience what you want to tell them uh, versus some of the things that they say? And so I feel like that, that's a process that at the very beginning, I just start putting on the wall so everybody sees it. And you can make better decisions that way, more informed decisions, I think.